So, um, only a few years ago, um, the concept of uh, transplanting a pediatric heart uh, across uh, blood types came about. And uh, what we wanted to see is uh, uh, how did these cases uh, compare in terms of outcomes to um, what was the standard of care, which was matching the donor and the recipient. Um, and basically what we found is that, uh, questioning the uh, UNOS database, so a large cohort of patients, there really was no difference in terms of outcomes, both in terms of rejection and in terms of outcomes, mortality, outcome mortality, in what, you know, between the two groups. Of course, the sample size was different, but, you know, with a statistical uh, analysis, basically there was, you know, some, some evidence that there was no change uh, in outcomes between the two groups. Um, what this means in terms of, uh, of uh, to our pediatric patient population is that, especially in the infant uh, recipient group, the uh, chances of dying while waiting for a, a suitable donor were very high, 30 to 40 percent. A lot of it depends on your region where you are, and uh, sometimes, unfortunately, on, on luck on the part of the uh, on the part of the recipient. But by doing this, people have been uh, able to cut down mortality by one third while waiting for a heart transplant. Mm -hmm.